Another schedule health metric is resources. Now you don't have to have resources assigned to your schedule in order for you to have a schedule that works. And if you don't know how to use resources properly, it can really mess up a schedule. But DCMA is looking at if you are using resources, does every task have a resource assigned to it? And if it does, then the next step is it looking at are you over allocating those resources by assigning too many tasks based on the availability that they have? So you're gonna count how many tasks don't have a resource and then also make sure that if they do, they're not over allocated. Again, you don't have to utilize resources in your schedule to make a schedule work, but DCMA would like you to utilize the capability of having resources and assigning costs to them so you can do true earned value. So the resources metric is an open-ended metric. You either use it or you don't. If you're using resources in your schedule, then you need to make sure that you're using them at 100%. You can't just pick and choose which tasks have resources and which don't. But also, if you're not gonna use resources, then don't put any in. It's an all or nothing. So if you're not using resources in your schedule, you can skip over this metric. But if you are, this metric is identifying which task and making sure all of them have resources and then making sure there's no over allocations. Why this is important is because using resources can help you with your cost performance. DCMA does encourage you to use them. And if you're going to use resources, make it 100% effort, all or nothing. So the field you're gonna use on this is resource. And then how do you calculate it? You're gonna count how many incomplete tasks have no resource assigned, and then divide it by the count of incomplete tasks. So you're just forward looking. But again, the goal is using resources as preferred, but it is an open-ended metric. If you're not using resources, you can skip over this metric. An easy example of how you can look at this is, we said we were looking at the resource field, but you can also look at your team planner view. And here's just a snapshot of how it looks. All the resources are up at the top, and then it shows the tasks that they're assigned to over to the right. And down at the bottom, you can see where it says unassigned task. I have 16 tasks in the schedule that don't have resources. So that's my first thing is I would identify what tasks those are that don't have resources and go assign resources to them. The next part of this metric is looking at the over allocation. And you can see that here in the electrician. It's showing it, it's red, and it says I have tasks that are requiring much more of the electrician's work than what I have available. So let's go fix that in project. So in project, to get to your team planner view, you're going to go up to the resource tab and then click on team planner. Here's the view that I just showed you. And you can see here's all the resources down here and then all my unassigned tasks are down here. There's 16 of them. If you did have an over allocation, that would be where the electrician is. And you could click on this and it would show you here what's being over allocated. So I can expand that a little bit and go over and it says that I'm asking them to install the plugs and the light fixtures at the same time. If you wanted to fix that, you could say level your resource and then it's going to adjust your task based on the electrician's availability. If I do that right here, it now makes sure that there's no over allocation. That's easy way of letting project do it for you, but if you wanted to manipulate it in any other way and you wanted them to happen at the same time, then that's when you would go into your resources and make sure that they have the appropriate amount of levels available to support having two tasks go on at once, because maybe they have two people, and then that's where you have to make sure that you've allocated enough time and enough work and availability for that resource. All these tasks down here that are unassigned, we're at the beginning of our project, so here you can see as I scrolled over that here are the tasks that do not have resources assigned if I wanted to look up what those were and I can go in there and fix those as well. But I will go back to the Gantt view and all I would do is insert that resource column. It would be resource names and there's where you can see it and we just want to check to make sure that there are no blanks. So you would just filter on the blanks and there it pulls up all your tasks that don't have resources and I need to go fill those in to be compliant with this metric. So a recap of this metric is we're looking at does your project have resources assigned to it? And if it does, does every task have a resource? And if that is a yes, then make sure that there's no resource that is over allocated where we're asking it to do more than what it is capable of doing. You're gonna use your resource field to make sure there's no blanks and then you're gonna calculate how many have resources, how many don't, how many are incomplete and divide it. Now again, this is an open-ended metric so you can either use it if you have resources or you don't have to use it if you're not using resources. Again, you can use project without using resources 
However, they do recommend it because there's a lot of capabilities that you would be missing out on if you're not using resources. 